Hi, I've uh, had a few people asking about spooky integration with radionics, so I thought I'd do this video just to detail the process that I use for my instruments. Um, obviously we have the signal generator, this one's a Spooky 2 signal generator, 5 megahertz, and my Wickenden device version 2 instruments which I'm developing commercially to be sold through Bacana Labs which I have established. And we are using John White's Spooky 2 remote system and a stick pad I use just for tuning my radio on its instruments. Um, so the overall process is we have the signal generator and the spooky software which is driving the input over here of the radionic instrument and that is being tuned and modulated radionically and sent to the output plate um, which then goes from the output system on the radionic instrument to the spooky remote or a plasma system which I'll demonstrate shortly. So run the process I'm just generating a test signal of 10 hertz on a square wave and at 10 volts amplitude. Um, so what I'll demonstrate is how I tune in the radionic circuit. What I'm going to do is transfer a tincture to a witness sample or a target sample and uh, my tincture would go on the input plate here because I want to transfer it to the output plate where my target sample will be and to do this assuming we have a, a frequency running that will correspond to this tincture or benefit it in some way but for now remember it's just a test frequency I would uh, tune into the tincture by doing that I'd use my stick pad and I would start to tune the dials until I reach the stick on my stick pad. In another video, I'll demonstrate how a stick pad works and the best way to tune it. But it's quite different for many people. Some people prefer a pendulum, and that's what is expected as standard when I ship these instruments because I don't make the stick pad to go with them. Um, though in the future it may be another option. So we have the three dials tuned, tuned into the tincture on this instrument. Our test frequency running through the system. And you would potentize a remedy, but in this case it's just being transferred to the sample, the target sample, so it's not necessary. Um, but I'll show the potentize function of the vibro potentizer. It just vibrates the output plate, which helps imprint information into the sample, in particular a water sample that you're using to create remedies into. Um, and you have another target sample, assuming you're treating yourself or a patient, going into the spooky remote. Um, that is generally the basic process. So, what I will do now is um, pause up and show you. The whole system with a plasma device attached, it's only a basic plasma device. I'll pause that and we'll come back to that in a minute. Right, I've now connected my plasma device to the Spook 2 and Wicken Device version 2 radionic setup. It might seem a little complex at first, but really it is a simple process of splitting the output signal from a radionics machine. Um, which also goes to the remote down here, the stick pad, and into the BNC connector on my plasma globe. Um, I've put a radio tuned into the frequency in the background just to highlight it is actually transmitting. Um, I'd expect to see it pulsing from the plasma globe, but because it's um, attenuated essentially um, and being also modulated by the radio on its machine, which has its own inbuilt uh, signal processing. Um, that's causing it not to pulse, but you can still hear it being carried on a radio frequency. Um, so that is the general setup. Um, what I do need to highlight is the connectors on the back of the instrument, which are hard to see here, but I'll um, 
put up a couple of pictures at the end of this video showing the details. Um, there's a couple of uh, BNC to banana connectors on the back here that allow you to plug in your BNC directly to the Wicked Device version 2. And uh, also saying yeah, on the output here that it takes the bananas to the BNC and also a little T splitter for the BNC connectors. And there is the option of course of just plugging the plasma device straight into the output 2 of um, the Spooky 2 generator. But to have the radionic signal within it, you can't do that obviously, that would just be purely rife frequencies. So that is generally the overall setup. Um, I hope you'll find it interesting. I'll try and include some more details in a write up at some point. Um, probably a picture of the setup with a little bit more detail in it. Um, that is about it for now. Once again, thanks for watching. This is the BNC2 banana jack connector that I use on my radionic instruments. Um, they are quite expensive unless you buy them from the Chinese suppliers. Um, I spent about six to eight pound on these um, but from China you can get them for about two pound each which is a lot better. It just takes longer to get to you. But if you note on these connectors that there is a small tab on the right hand side on this one that means ground so on the Wickenden device that ground would be connected to the black banana jack. These are the BNC T splitters, it's a BNC male to two female connectors and this we connect to the back of the adapter in the previous slide and that allows us to separate that into two BNC cables to power the plasma device as seen in the video and spooky remote. Uh, you can also use these on the input so you can have two input channels going into the instrument. I wouldn't recommend it for spooky, but it works with other radionic peripherals. Um, these are fairly cheap to buy. Um, I think I got four for about three pounds, so it's a much better value than the other adapter.